Set for a Bellator women's special feature fight at the catch weight of 120 pounds, Sarah Schneider versus Megumi Fuji. And now, ladies and gentlemen, set and ready to make her way to the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This is Sarah, the White Tiger Schneider. Go. Sarah Schneider holds the rank of black belt in American Jiu-Jitsu, a version of the sport that differs from its Japanese and Brazilian counterparts. Here's Schneider on the techniques of AJJ. And now her opponent set and ready to make her way to the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. This is Megumi, Mega Megu Fuji. Megumi Fuji. Widely regarded as the top female fighter at 115 pounds in the world. Also seen as one of the top two or three female fighters pound for pound in all of mixed martial arts. You know, it's hard to find fighters that are more technical in the female in the women's division. She is explosive and like I said, and I keep saying it, technically brilliant. She has great jujitsu, great judo. 19 wins and 19 fights for Fujii, 16 by way of submission, 3 by way of decision, thus of course, no knockouts. She said she wants a knockout, but we all know what her game plan is, you know. Fujii wants a submission battle, she's had 19 fights, 16 submissions, she's a black belt in judo and BJJ. You know, that's a big part of her style, that's what she's going to need in order to win. Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator Fighting Championships along with Everlast. What do you fight for? And UB.net Rays Stack Own. Tonight at Bellator 21 at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Now present this women's special feature at a catch weight of 120 pounds scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And now introducing first fighting out of the red corner. She wears the black trunks at five foot three. She weighed in at 119 and one half pounds. The American Jiu-Jitsu specialist brings a professional record of four victories, four defeats. She's got one win by knockout, two by way of submission. Representing caveman crew in Crawford's American Jiu-Jitsu fighting out of Raytown, Missouri. Introducing Sarah White Tiger Schneider. And across the cage, her adversary fights out of the blue corner. She wears the white at five foot three. She weighed in at 118 and one half pounds. The catch wrestler and grappler brings an undefeated and impressive professional record of 19 and 0, with 16 victories by way of submission. Representing AACC from Okayama, Japan, presenting Megumi, Mega Megu Fuji. And your referee for this contest, Jorge Alonso. There you see Josh Barnett, the trainer of Megumi Fuji, one of the First top heavyweights in all of strong, MMA. Okay, obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. And also a very tough trainer, Sean. Sarah Schneider is trained by her older brother Steve, himself an MMA fighter. Come on, Schneider in the black trunks. Fujii in the white trunks. Jorge Alonso is the referee. The bell in round number one. Fuji E staying very light on her feet. Schneider has to know that if she's going to win, this is where it's going to happen, on the feet. Schneider is herself a grappler and a submission specialist, so she's not looking for a knockout. The strengths of Sarah Schneider are the same strengths of Fuji E. Fuji E just much more accomplished in MMA. Well, the same strengths, but not as strong. That's the point of being well-rounded in MMA. You'll fight somebody who's better at what you're good at. Schneider right now looks very tentative. Backing off, not being aggressive. She's letting Fuji E push the pace here. And you know that that's what Fuji E's looking for. When we spoke to Sarah Schneider in our fighter meetings, I asked her, how confident are you? And she said, well, I'm confident that I'm a good fighter, but in this bout, anything can happen. But that's what we expected to happen. The takedown from Fuji E. She wants this fight on the ground. 
Tight guard held by Sarah Schneider. Schneider holding on very tight. I first saw Sarah Schneider fight in Kansas City, Kansas. I called for Midwestern Television September of 2007. She defeated former U.S. Judo Olympian Karina West by armbar submission in the first round. She was not intimidated to fight a former Olympian in that bout. She doesn't seem intimidated by Fujii, but Fujii obviously a completely different level from Karina West three years ago. You see that body triangle. She's locking up with her legs. You see the body, tri body triangle right here that she's locking up with her legs. It's different than the regular closed guard. It's good at holding somebody tight to you, but it's not good for a submission. You aren't looking for a submission when you body triangle from the guard. If Schneider has just a strength on. in this bout, Jimmy, I think it is actual strength. What's Very back? true. What's like I said in the inner circle, you know, Japanese fighters that come to the U.S., that's a problem a lot of them have. American fighters seem to be bigger, stronger with that grappling background. They're better at cutting weight. Hard to use some of that technique against someone who's a lot stronger than you, but Fuji is in the right place to do it on top. Fuji is so excited about making her Bellator debut, and a big slam on Schneider by Fuji. So excited about participating in Bellator's women's 115-pound tournament, which begins in August. Schneider, not very active at all in the guard, looking for a stand-up again. There is the stand-up by referee Jorge Alonso. Not a bad strategy against a better grappler. Hold on, wait for the referee to stand you up again. Fuji E just walking down her opponent. Now, I like Fuji E's movement. She's angling very well, very light on her feet. Good combination there on the inside by Fuji E. Oh, Sarah went for that spinning back fist and it cost her. Fuji E stepping right underneath it for the takedown. Good job passing by Fuji E. Excellent job. So smooth on the pass by Fuji E into side control. Now into the mount. Stepping over in the full mount on Sarah Schneider is Megumi Fuji E. Schneider holding the body lock, trying to keep her opponent tight. That's some beautiful groundwork from Fuji E. Now stepping up. Looks like she might be stepping over for the triangle. Can't really tell from here, but no, it looks like just a high mount. Fuji E more likely to look for a spinning arm bar from mounting ground and pound. I think so, but she understands the value of ground and pound for setting up submissions. Schneider trying to regain her feet, can't do it. Hammer fist and a straight jackhammer right by Fuji E. Good job by Schneider getting back to guard. And once again, she's underneath the armpits of Fuji E and just trying to stay close. See the tight guard there held by Schneider. See the wide base by Fuji E. She is so technically proficient on the ground. But that guard very low around Fuji's hips. It's not a high guard. It's not a, what I would call a, a submission guard. You're not walking your legs up. You're not really trying to end the fight. Looks like right now Schneider's content to just hang on. Body triangle again locked up by Sarah Schneider. Schneider's cut. It's on the bridge of the nose and the blood trickling from the bridge of the nose into the right eye. Again, not danger to permanent vision loss. The danger is temporary vision loss. That blood runs into the eye. It makes it a lot harder to fight. Got a word, got a word. Closing seconds of round number one. Up, 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 up. Sarah up, up, Schneider up, up, up. versus Megumi Fujii. And we are headed to round number two.